The East Coast was hit by a devastating storm, Sandy. The impact was to many, many millions of households all over the tri-state area. And NetApp employees responded to this storm almost immediately to areas that were hit hard. We had people from our company drive hundreds of miles with supplies. We did about eight hours yesterday, uh, stopped in Aberdeen, Maryland, and then uh, picked up some more gas and milk this morning for another four hours this morning. Landed here in Brooklyn, drop off the supplies here, generators, milk, gas, clothing, water, all the key essentials, everything that is needed to get back in swing. You take a place like Garrison Beach here where Bill Hogan, you know, he, he grew up here and he went to school here. So he knew where to go, he knew who to call, and they were here right away. This is what we do at NetApp, right? We've got 1,500 people in our RTP office, and when we told them what we were up to, uh, they couldn't donate enough time, money, food, clothing, and then we told our Virginia office we were going to be passing through. Same thing there. It makes me feel good to help, but it makes me feel better to see the way people at NetApp kind of rally around these efforts. Thanks the water, milk, flashlight, please just wave to the truck. These supplies are having an immediate impact on people's lives. Thank you very much for all the supplies, you know. No really, it's no really going to make a difference. We have a community here that has 2,500 homes that uh, doesn't have power. You know, with all the supplies, it's going to make it a lot easier. we got volunteers coming from all over the place, and it's been very, very helpful, and it's, it really is a blessing that, that you guys came through. People haven't had milk in 10 days, and now we got milk. You right, everything else? We haven't really been able to get generators. Uh, a lot of people that had generators, when the water came up, it flooded the generators. So people that normally would have been better off or more protected or able to pump out their basements, sure. you know, can't do it because once the water came up, the water was literally a few foot high over the entire community. I have no heat whatsoever, no electricity, of course. No, nobody around here has any. Thanks to NetUp, we were able to get John McIsaac, an 82-year-old vet, a generator to heat one room in his house. This will give me enough power to get electric heat. This will warm up at least one room that I can live in with my cat, who is in the window over here sunbathing. Everybody's lives have been pretty much turned upside down. Nobody can get to anything. What they're getting out to is pretty much soaked. And we're just doing what we can to try to help dig some people out, get the recovery underway. Whoever can, can tear themselves away from work to come and help out in any of the areas that needed, everywhere from Long Beach out to Jersey Shore. Come on. A lot of companies give lip service. They say that they're about the community. They say they want to make the world around them a better place. NetApp actually puts its money where its mouth is. I couldn't be more proud. And in the midst of all this, we continue to operate and continue to service our customers, our partners, and the community. Without giving much thought, a lot of our employees really went out of their way and helped families in desperate need. Thank you for all you guys. <laughs> We have nothing here. <laughs> Thank you very much. You I do appreciate it. Thank you very much. I'm happy we can so, do a little bit of our part. You, well, you, a little bit. You, you've, touched, you, you've touched hundreds, yeah. if not thousands, of people. Thank you very much. With the help that uh, NetApp and other people have given and will continue to give, and uh, we'll, we'll get back together again. I mean, that's, that's where New York is, and we go on. This is really good. Thank you so much. But these issues are far from over. There's still a ton of efforts that need to take place. There's still a lot of work that has to continue, and we are going to be there.